Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to show you how to create a newspaper barrier and how to continue to prune your tomato plants. This is my second video of this plant. Um, I showed you how to prune it when it was much smaller. And let me just get started. In the last video I decided to keep two main stems and they've grown bigger and stronger so before you get to pruning you want to tie the main stem stems up to your post and I just use jute which is a fiber that will break down in the garden eventually the bamboo po uh, pole that it's on will not support this plant much longer but it's good enough to support the plant while it's growing. This is the second main stem which was originally a sucker that I let grow but I decided to have two main stems for the uh, tomato and this is a purple crimp and you just gently tie the main stem to the post. It'll provide support and pull it in closer than it was and over time I'll keep pulling it in until both stems are going up the main stake that I put in there. The next thing you want to do, and I talked about before, is you want to create a disease barrier between the soil and the bottom leaves of the tomato. And as the tomato grows, you remove more and more bottom leaves. So let me do that now. And it looks kind of harsh, but the spores for leaf spot, um, early blight, although they can travel in the air, sometimes they overwinter in your garden on weeds or on debris. Uh, you, you're creating this gap so spores can't splash up onto your leaves and then start with the disease. It's going to spread upward in your plant. Now I cut off, now probably that's getting close to a foot of branches. These branches of the uh, black crim tomato do hang down so I don't have to cut them all off but I'm going to cut them in half and create that gap I was talking about. The next thing I want to do is look in the main growth of the tomato and find right between a main stem and a branch, if that's the main stem and a branch, is another growth, that's the sucker. Although it doesn't hurt your tomato, it will turn into a stem that flowers. And what happens if you have too many suckers, you get too much growth and the plant's more susceptible to disease. And you can look at it this way. If this is a main branch, this is the main stem, what's in between is the sucker. And you can look at this one here. You have whoop, the main branch, here, or a branch right here, the main stem coming up this way, and what's left is this sucker right in here. And you remove that or you cut it out. So this is one of the stems I kept. Here's another smaller sucker. Break that out. And then check out the rest of the tomato. You can see one, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but right in here, that's a little bit bigger, that's harder to pinch. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that out. And so I have this stem from the last video. Here's a main stem and here's a, a sucker right in here. It looks good. That would be the third main stem. You have one, two, three. It looks harsh, but I'm cutting it out. And I'm going to tie the stem up here close to the bamboo pole and you can see the flowers are starting. The next thing I want to do is create a barrier in the soil with newspaper and you can use any newspaper just don't use the glossy paper the ink is different the non-glossy paper even a colored ink is usually made out of vegetable material or vegetable product so it does break down in the garden. You want to get about four layers of paper and just spread it around your tomato
and this is going to create a disease barrier. Tear it, put it around the stem, tear it, put it around your marigolds if you have marigolds. It doesn't have to be perfect. But you're creating the, the basic barrier. Put the other pieces around it. And what you're creating is basically a splash barrier. So if it rains or you water the plant, the soil's not gonna splash up onto your tomato and possibly spread disease. Once you have it down with newspaper, you wanna soak the paper. And then just mold it into shape however you want it to sit. And then you can go ahead and put uh, clean soil on there you could put mulch. I'm going to put sand on it for two reasons. One, sand is typically sterile of all those diseases. And two, I have clay soil, so this sand will help my soil out in the long run. And the sand will weight the paper down, fill in any cracks. and you get the basic idea. And again, some of the things that you're doing is you're creating a gap between the soil and the leaves by cutting out a foot or more of leaves as the tomato grows. When this gets about, well you can't see it out of the video, I'm coming out of it, but when it gets about another six inches tall, I may cut out some more branches. And then you're gonna put down newspaper to create a barrier, sand on top of it or mulch, and that has basically your gap and your disease prevention. The other thing you're doing is you're pruning out the suckers between the main joints of a stem and the leaf so that your plant doesn't uh, get too dense and, more, and become more susceptible to, to uh, disease. If you like this video, please check out my blog at www.therustedgarden.blogspot.com. Thanks.